Hello, hello, happy Wednesday. If it's Wednesday at noon, it means it's the weekly yoga show with me, Irina. Welcome, fantastic to have you. Today we're diving into a special yoga flow called a moon salute. You may have heard of sun salutes, sun salutations, maybe even a sea salute. Today, moon salute. Why? Because it's it's just fun, right? It's fun to move our body in different ways and to also recognize those moments when the moon makes us a little stir crazy. I love those memes that are floating around the internet like you don't even need to look outside and you know it's a full moon, right? It's just something in the air. Everybody seems to be acting a little bit uh, wilder. It's a little bit more adventure going on. Um, it's funny because both my little ones, my son and my daughter, were born on full moons. And yeah, it can create a lot of pandemonium in hospitals, right? So thank you for joining me. Without further ado, we're going to jump into the moon salute. And if we haven't met before, I'm Irina, and I'm so glad you're here. My joy is helping you tap into your unseen resources to give you an edge to life right? To not feel like life is happening to you, but you can engage with life and make it more playful. That's what today is about. So join me, join me. If you have, you know, a yoga block or a chair nearby, that can be nice to have. We're going to start at the top of our space and I'm going to face the top of my mat so you can see what's happening from a sideways view and It'll be an adventure. With your yoga blocks, you're gonna set them up so that they're on the back edge of your mat, like so, about as long as the mat, highest height. If you don't have the yoga blocks, don't worry. You can always have a chair nearby, or I'll show you another alternative. So you plant your feet firmly beneath your hips, and from the center of the ankle to the second toe, you imagine a line pointing forward. And on the inhale, sweep the arms overhead. And the exhale, release the arms. Beautiful. On the inhale, sweep the arms high. And on the exhale, release. We'll do one more time, sinking movement and breath. You sweep up and you release. Good. Now this time, inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Hold on to your left wrist, and as you tone your lower belly, lengthen up and to the right. A standing crescent pose, toning the waistline, and even encouraging right shoulder blade to press forward slightly. Ah. Inhale through center, hold on to the right wrist, and lengthen up and to the left. So you're opening the whole side of your body, going to make it easy to take that deep breath. Inhale through center and on the exhale forward bend, hinging at the hips, bring the fingers down to the floor. Now as you bring your fingers down to the floor, bend your knees. We're going to warm up this first round a bit. And as you bend your knees, fingers pressing head heavy, keep the fingers pressing into the earth and stretch the legs a little straighter. We'll do that one more time. Bend the knees, fingers pressed down, tone the belly, and then stretch the legs straight. <sighs> on the next inhale, lengthen the chest forward. And on the exhale, step right leg back, low lunge. As the right leg comes back, inhale, sweep the heart and arms up into Anjaneya Asana. It's a wonderful position to open the chest, the upper body, the front of the thigh. On the exhale, hands to the floor, lift the back knee up. We're going to get fancy in the transition here. So you bring your left arm to the inside of the leg. Turn your toes to the right so that they face the edge of your sticky mat. And from this wide angle forward bend, keep the fingers pressing into the floor. Bend the knees an inch. Lift and spread the toes. We want a firm foundation to support us because we're going to fly to the moon in a moment. Lift the pinky toe side of your foot a little bit. And as you spread your pinky toe, tone from the pinky toe to the outer knee. Those outer shins firm. And as you firm your outer shins, move the inner thighs back, stretching the legs a little straighter. 
tone the lower belly and lengthen from the outer hips down to the pinky toe side of the foot, rooting it into the floor. Hmm. And on the inhale, bring the hands to the hips, draw the shoulder blades out of the back, lift the sides of the neck and come all the way up. Wonderful. From here, you're going to turn your left leg in a little, your right leg open. Extend the arms out to a T and very slowly triangle pose. So both legs are straight and steady. And as you push through the ball of the right foot, reach that right arm out to the side. Maybe you bring your right hand to your shin. Maybe if that yoga block is nearby, you have that next to the outer right ankle and you press your hand down into it. And if your hamstrings, the back of the legs are feeling nice and open, you're going to bring your right fingers all the way down to the floor. And this really just depends on how tight you are through the back of your leg, how your hips are feeling. Now from triangle, we go to half moon. This is where things get nice and fun and a little wild. You bring your left hand to your hip. It's nice to have a yoga block for this, but not necessary. I'm going to show you with the block. You bend your right leg, slide your left leg in enough so that right hip is over right ankle. Here's the secret ingredient. You take your right block and hand forward and a little wide. If it's close to the foot, if it's right in front of the foot, you won't have the same stability. So think forward and wide. Then looking at the floor, you press right foot down, and it's like you're going up on an elevator. You just draw the right leg up straight. The right hand presses down, and you spread your left toes, really working that pinky toe. From this position, you want to open your chest. So very slowly, you turn your eyes and your head to find a still point on the wall. You draw the belly in, and then extend the left arm to the heavens. This is half moon. To come out of the pose, keep that left leg up, turn the chest to the floor and bring both hands down to the ground. Bend the right knee slowly and plant the left foot way far behind you into a lunge. Then lower the left knee to the floor. Inhale, sweep hard and arms up. Ah, <sighs> Anjaneya Asana. Exhale, hands to the floor, lift that back knee, turn your toes to the left so they face the edge of the mat, forward bend. On the next inhale, bring the hands to the hips, draw the shoulder blades out of the back, lift the sides of the neck to come up. Triangle now to the left. So turn right leg in, left leg open. The heel of that left foot in line with the right arch as you extend the arms out, keeping those legs strong and steady, reach to the left and bring hands maybe to the shin. Maybe as the hamstrings open over time, you slide the hand down farther on the leg, maybe even fingers to the floor. And when you get your hand down to the floor, you can use the belly of the forearm, the inner edge of the forearm, and hug your outer shin into the midline for a little more stability. Those outer shin muscles really help us balance in our half moon pose. From here, bring right hand to hip. I'll show it to you, the half moon without the block. Look at the floor, this helps with balance. Slide that right foot in and left hand forward and wide. You wanna to get to the point where left hip is over ankle. Push through the left foot, and like you're going right up on an elevator, you stretch that left leg straight. Right foot flexing, toes spreading. So quirky, but it helps with balance. And as you tone your belly, spin your chest to face the side of the mat or the side of your room you're in. One deep breath here. This is nice to do up against a wall as well. Lots of tricks for that. And then from here, Keep the right leg up, but bring the right hand to the floor, square the hips, and just lower right foot next to left, forward bend. Inhale, lengthen the chest forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out like wings all the way up. 
Keep the arms overhead. Hold on to the right wrist and lengthen up and to the left. Ah. Inhale through center. Hold on to the left wrist. Lengthen up and to the right. Ooh. <laughs> and come back to center. Release. All right. We'll do it up tempo with our breath. Here goes. Inhale. Sweep the arms up. Hold on to the left wrist. And on the exhale, lean to the right. We crescent to the right. Next inhale, come through center, hold on to the right, crescent to the left. And you're working your belly here, drawing the belly in, sides of the waistline back. Inhale through center and on the exhale, forward fold, fingers to the floor, bending the knees if you need to. Inhale, lengthen the chest forward. Exhale, right leg back to a low lunge. With the next inhale, sweep hard and arms up. Anjaneya Asana. Ah. Exhale, hands to the floor. Lift the back knee. Turn your toes to the side of your mat. Walk your hands to the midline. One forward bend here. Then on the inhale, hands to the hips. Draw the shoulder blades out of the back. Lift the sides of the neck to come up. Turn right le left leg in, right leg open, triangle. With the leg strong and steady, reach out to the right. Fingertips come down to the floor. From triangle, bring left hand to the hip. Look at the ground. Slide that left foot in. Push through right hand and foot and lift the left leg parallel to the floor. And as you tone your belly, extend left arm to the heavens. From the half moon, you're going to keep left leg in the air as you bring left hand to floor, squaring your hips to the earth. Then bend your right leg and reach, reach that left foot back until you can plant it flat. Lower left knee to the ground. Inhale, sweep hard and arms up. Anjaneya Asana. Exhale, hands to the floor. Lift the back knee. Turn the toes to face the edge of the mat. Inhale, hands to the hips, draw shoulder blades onto the back to come all the way up. Turn right leg in, left leg open, arms to the T. With the leg strong and steady, reach to the left, triangle pose, trikonasana. Bring the right hand to the hip, looking at the floor. Bend that front leg, slide the back foot in. And once that left hip is over the ankle, stretch the left leg straight, bringing right leg parallel to the earth. As you tone the belly, reach the right arm high to the heavens. And on the next exhalation, keeping the right leg up, bring right hand to the floor, square the hips to the earth, and lower right foot down to the mat. Oh, breathe. Inhale, lengthen the chest forward. Exhale to fold. Inhale, arms sweep out like wings all the way up. And hands to Anjali. <laughs> oh, and we'll do the crescent. I almost forgot. So sweep the arms back up. Hold on to the right wrist. Lengthen up and to the left. Come back through center. Hold on to the left and lengthen up to the right. And then back to center. I get so excited to share these wonderful, wonderful poses. So as you stop by and you play these moon salutes with me, and there are some variations on them out there, many different ways to do moon salutes, sun salutations. Let me know if you've ever done a moon salute before, if you've ever heard of such a thing. And if you want more interaction like this, check out the Yoga Club. And if you haven't heard of the Yoga Club, Oh my goodness, I have a free 14-day trial going on right now. Grab it while you can, because it won't be around forever. I'll put the link in the comments below or the description above, wherever Facebook lets me. It's been fabulous having you. If you've had fun doing the moon salutes, please share it with a friend. I'd love to be able to share the craziness and wildness that a full moon can bring, whether it's in our yoga practice or just going outside and catching fireflies. Fireflies. <laughs> Have a great day. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye, guys. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> Bye.